Thank you, everyone, for coming already. Um, I just feel like I won the prize. <laughs> uh, so thanks for coming. Um, I am really, really excited to, to say a couple things to you about the prize and to introduce you to our winner and a couple instrumental people uh, in the contest. And how about the Gypsy Ombres, though? <laughs> time us 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll go back to the music and eating and drinking. Um, most of you know me as Kelly Falzone but if you don't know me uh, I am a writer in town and uh, about two summers ago my friend uh, John Spence approached me on the side of the soccer field and said he had he and Peter Hansberger, two wonderful parents at university school, um, they had a great idea, and, and would I talk to them about it? And from that point on, you know, people have a lot of great ideas, but this idea took off, and because of their commitment to, to writers and uh, readers and the Nashville community, we had this wonderful new book prize in Nashville. It's our only book prize. Um, so about last November, we started working together on it, hoping we'd get a few manuscripts. And we got over 350 manuscripts from across the country, from 44 states. And Tennessee was well represented. And um, it's been just more and more exciting as the year has gone on, honestly. Um, so you'll get to meet our winning author, and we're honoring him and celebrating him, of course. But really, this, the other people who this party is in honor of are the people who are wearing mostly red name tags, who are our reading team. I couldn't read 350 manuscripts, so I um, recruited reading volunteers from across the city who um, stepped right up and I had 50 people on my team and they did a fabulous job and I thought mm, working with volunteers coordinating that that's a lot um, that was probably the thing I was most worried about and it was the thing that has most surprised me and thrilled me because these people stepped up they're book lovers like you wouldn't believe they read and read and read and read and they um, were as excited as we were and took big boxes home really heavy boxes and, and got them back to me on time and then they I asked them again will you read some more so that's this party really also celebrates all their work that allowed us to find Scott Muskin's work and so I appreciate all you readers that are here, um, thank you for, for that. So if you'll clap for them. Now, 49 out of the 50 readers said they wanted to do it again next year. So I have one spot. <laughs> no, I have a feeling we'll need a few more readers next year. I think we're going to get more as the prize gets more exposure. So if you're interested in becoming a reader for me next year, because we're doing it again, Yay. on the way out, um, Teresa will have some uh, paper. Leave your contact information. And if it's just an email, that, that's great. Or whatever way is best for me to contact you, come next um, February, March. I'll be making those calls. Okay. <clears throat> So, 